Hi, it's Joe with Quick Flicks again, <clears throat> doing another layout, and this will be the last one for tonight. I don't think these were supposed to, nope, these don't go in there. Um, and I'm going to apologize at the beginning of my video, instead of trying to squeeze it in at the end, because apparently I talk too much and my videos are cutting off. I'm running out of time before I'm done. And I have two options when I find that I've done that. I can either not upload it and call it a night, or I can go ahead and upload it and tell you it cut off. Sorry. So I went with the second option. Okay, the pages I'm doing now, the pack stacks that I picked are, um, this is a die cuts with a view. Uh, and I got this one probably a couple years ago at Hobby Lobby and there's some just there were some really cool pa pa papers in here however I've never used it because it's real chic and since I do my scrapbooking for my kids my grandkids it's a little old for them however Charlie thinks she's full grown and so I decided, this is a die cuts with the view as well. And these are a glossy paper. Love these, but again, these are a little bit older and I don't use them. They're very, very rarely. <clears throat> but they were very appropriate for the pictures that I was using. This is one of Charlie when her little brother, Wyatt, who is two, got a hold of the camera. And whenever she sees a camera, she's got to strike a pose. And so I picked that with the paper, with the real sheet paper here. And then um, I picked this peacock design for the other picture of Mommy and Charlie out on the lake. Uh, this has the kind of teal blue and the greens in the feather. This was in a uh, glossy embossed. No, it wasn't even embossed. It's a shiny paper and the nice colors, but I glittered it. I glittered the feathers uh, just to make them stand out, pop out more. Then, this was, I don't know, I think this was from a different stack pack. I think this was one of my, I know it was, it was one of my foil packs that I got at, well, can't find it. Let me see here. Well, it was from another pack of foil papers. You can't tell on camera, but this is a gold foil on a white glossy paper that I'm gonna use here. I can't remember how I was even thinking about doing this page, but that's okay. This piece is 12 inches long, and this is four and a half inches wide. No idea how I came up with that size, guys. Sorry. Told you, when I scrapbook, it's total randomness. I have no idea. This one must be four inches, I'm guessing. Three and three quarters inch wide. Again, why that width? Don't know. Oh, what are we, oh, I know why. This was a scrap. This was a piece of scrap glitter and that's why this ended up that width because I want to use it with this scrap piece and this one I'm going to be putting in the middle I picked up there's glitter around this picture that I used to pick up part of the feather in here but I'm going to add some black glitter here, maybe, if I can find where I put my Tom bow, here it is, found it, and this works great with glitter on glitter tape, does not work, it does not stick, it does not adhere well enough and the ATG tape works on everything but glitter. 
bag. Just grab that. What they do? I just it wipes in here. I didn't mean to grab that like that. I got glue all over my hand. Come on, come on. Stick. There's a little bit of black, a little tiny uh, black lines in the peacock feather, so I decided to use a little bit of black glitter on it. If I can get it to stick. Probably glue my fingers down to it. And then I'm going to run a piece of black here. This one I can take because I'm not going to go on top of the glitter. I'm going to go on the long side the white. And that one didn't go quite to the bottom. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a little tiny piece here. And normally I would just let this go. However, I can see that and that will drive me nuts. That it didn't go all the way to the bottom. And I was going to say it does now, but it doesn't because I just yanked it off. There we go. The one thing nice about the glitter is when you seam them together, they don't show where the seams are. The glitters blend in really nicely together. Oh, is that sticky? Let me grab another wipe from my side, side tray here. Because my hands are covered with glue. These two pages are going to be completely different color schemes, but they're going to go across from each other in her book because they both are kind of the same sassy um, theme. And I'm going to put the picture. These are only, each of these are only going to have one picture on them. Oops, wrong side. I have to add a little more glue. It's not going to stick to the glitter. So I'm going to bring this one over there. And let me roll it. There we go. So, picked up all the colors from the peacock feather. And again, I did add my own glitters on that because it was shiny, but it did not have any glitter on it. I'd have to pause this and go wash my hands. I can't get this off even with the wipes. Good grief. Yep, I'm good with that. So, sometimes I like to do just a picture, especially if there's something from a photographer. I like to do one rather than three or four on a page. And again, this was the one, the picture that was taken from her little brother when he got out the camera. She struck a pose and it was just so cute. And this is the paper that I chose for that one with the, this is, I think she thinks that she's full grown and This again is the white, which is a little bit on this page that I'm bringing in. These pages are not going to be in the same color scheme at all, but didn't intend them to be. And tried to do the last one of these with the paper cutter and it didn't work. So I'm just going to cut it off. See all the measuring I did to do that? For those of you that spend way too much time and don't ever get kind of discouraged with your scrapbooking because you spend way too much time trying to measure and make sure everything is perfect and your letters are all lined up and all that, you will never get your scrapbooks done. Don't do it. No one on this planet will notice. And if they do, they're looking too closely. Didn't like that. 
no nothing. All I did was tilt this piece here, cut off the back, put this piece on top. And this has a little bit of a red glitter. It's a really dark burgundy red uh, background. And the reason I did that color is this little itty bitty bitty square right here of the polka dot. It's gold and burgundy polka dot. And I picked this color to put on top to pick out a little tiny bit of that. And these are all going every which way. Oh, there's a little piece of that, that red down here too. That was the only reason for the red background. None of this is measured. That is it. Probably the simplest pages I have ever done. But sometimes simple is awesome. And to me, those were awesome. Totally good with it. Now I've run out of Charlie's pictures. So anyway, that's it for tonight. And I'll see you tomorrow.